the longer a game goes on, the, the more it favors the big team. That weak team just needs that one moment and boom. But if the game just keeps dragging on, it's going to favor the stronger team who even have maybe stronger penalty takers. With the away goal, there's a, there can be a moment in game where, oh no, penalty is gone. We have to have a winner now. We, we still had an exciting game overall. The same thing with the Atletico Inter. Like that was an exciting game because it meant so much to the point where you were only reliant on the goals you had. You didn't have to do extra calculations. You knew it was just up to the board and it was up to how much you can score in two legs. Um, do you have any love for not having away goals in the UCL? That inside athletic game was great and wouldn't have gone to ET with away goals. Okay. Let me let me just break this down right now. So, and I am not changing my tune on, on this. Was that a, a good game? Oh, quality, amazing game. But the decision to remove the way goals is one of the dumbest decisions in the world. When you have a competition, okay, it's fine. But when your competition can be unique and set itself apart, that's what is so special. So growing up watching the Champions League, why it was so unique from any other compet competition was like, oh, wow, this whole thing of the away goal. So your brain is always doing this mathematics in your head. It's like, oh, my God, are we in, are we at, are we in, are we at, are we in, are we at? And the bit of the away goal is that it's high jeopardy. It's like when Zeman suggested the whole thing of like, for penalties, it's like R Russian roulette and a random person takes it. Now, I think that's crazy and effed up. But it's oh, exciting. Great. Great, <laughs> but it's yeah. exciting. So my thing is that same thing. Golden goal. Golden goal was amazing because it's high jeopardy. It's, it's really high pressure, and it makes things exciting. Okay. So and I know how I felt when I saw that crazy goal in in Euro two thousand or when Senegal scored that goal against Sweden in um, O two. So my thing is that with the away goal, it just makes the game far more exciting and and a, a lot more at stake. When the game just drags on and on and on, I'm like. And, and this is what I always say. And this is why I like the away goal. The worst way to lose or decide a game is penalties. But my, my brother made an amazing point. Because I hate a game being decided on penalties. But my brother said, look, you're giving two hours plus to win a game. If you can't win a game in two hours plus, screw you. Penalties is your punishment. You know? But with the away goal, there's a, there can be a moment in the game where, oh, no, penalties is gone. We have to have a winner now. Because we, 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 can, we can no longer have extra time or, or penalties. So I like the wiggle because it just makes things much more exciting. Guys, remember, this is entertainment still. This is, this is spot is here to entertain us and to um, give us a thrilling affair. So I'm sorry, the removal of the wiggle rule ruined the excitement of the UCL. And I don't think that the game changed. I mean, Zeman, do you agree or disagree? Listen, I, I get it and I understand like the attachment that we have and the excitement that we've seen. And I know that for the, the implementation of like taking away that weight goal, it's only been around for what, two seasons? Three seasons? Yeah. It's, so it, hasn't, it hasn't been around compared to that. So you don't have that much we can base off of in terms of which one is better because this is more newer. But I feel like with this, I, 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 it kind of doesn't bother me. I, it, it just no, no, makes, no, but hold on, Zeman. Imagine, imagine if we had the hey, Zeman. Part. Imagine if we had the away goal rule during that Madrid City game. You know, that's a Rodrigo goal. That's that's the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that, but we still had an exciting game. We we still had an exciting game overall. The same thing with the uh, Atletico Inter. Like that was an exciting game because it meant so much to the point where you were only reliant on the goals you had. You didn't have to do extra calculations. You knew it was just up to the board and it was up to how much you can score in two legs and how it's much you but, can in but, but doesn't it make it more exciting if you have to do extra calculations? No, and which no, which means that you now have to keep on attacking because if it reaches a point where if you don't score, you're out, it means that you now have to attack and it makes the game much more exciting and much more thrilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, at like the same time, the argument can be if the away goal was implemented and you happen to score, you know, two away goals and, and, and then, you, you know, the team comes at home and then score one, you're, you're not going to be like 
for the weight goal, there's there's a, there's an element of security as much as there is an element of risk with it. Mm. You know, just based on just based on where where uh, where the tallies lead up to. And I feel like <laughs> but, 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 in a way. But but, but 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 look at this guy's comment. Like with the weight goal rule, I think both of you have an advantage. So let's take a peak peak Barca, who were huge at at Camp Nou. So they have an advantage of like, bro, this is our fortress. But that's how we team knows that, man, it is tough to be these guys in their home ground because of their amazing record and with their fans. But we know that rest. every goal we, we score gives it, it's an extra. So we have an advantage because of the away goal power. They have the advantage because this is their fortress. In this whole new thing now, only the home team has the advantage now. Back then, you both have the advantage. The second no, leg is, is, in, is in your house. This is, this is your fans in your house. We have an advantage because we have the away goal rule. Now, only one team has the advantage now, which is the, the home team. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get that. But I, I feel like it, I feel like I, I get in the sense that the second leg, it might be perceived as, well, it's the second leg and, and you're at home. It gives you an advantage going into the next round. If 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 the first leg was tied in KG, you could come out more in, in, in at the home game. And I get that. And that was... And that was something that benefited uh, Atletico in the sense, you know, second leg being so important to them and how how close the, that first leg was. But at the same time, like, it didn't take out any form of excitement. Like, uh, for me, it, it, does, it doesn't take out any form of excitement as much as it, people it's like, it's has. admit it. it. Has. Like, 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 that Real Madrid run was exciting from a neutral perspective. On, 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 like, on, 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 on so, it was exciting. It's hard, it hasn't. It has no, 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 no. no, no, It has lowered the excitement. It hasn't taken it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the excitement has been lessened. It's still there, but it's been lessened. I get that. The the only argument is it might have made the underdog story much more easier. You know, it's it. It it might make it much more easier for a team that might not have the qualities. Just knowing that, hey, if we get a goal away and we just defend, you know, or 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 we just we just defend and we could take it at home. And we could try to, we could try to, we could try to, um, we could, we, we could try to get into the next round. It might have played more into the underdog story, considering how much teams actually made it through just because of pure quality that they had compared to the opposition. Mm-hmm. But again, like I'm all for that. I'm tired of these underdog stories. Like these underdog stories in, in the modern game don't lead up to anything. Okay, well, okay wait, hold on. So, okay, so let me come to um, so Wiske, your thoughts. It, do you think away goals has ruined stuff, or is it still fine without no away goals? Um, uh, a wise man once said, I don't know the man, but shout out to him. But a wise man once said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Bro, there was nothing wrong with it. There's literally nothing wrong with it. Like, I don't, I don't know what the... I'm sure there's a, some kind of weird financial reason. No, 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 I, I think we saw wise, you know what the reason... Because remember, um, I think it was when City went out and Lineker was like, yeah, man, yeah. what a way of doing water. So what the way thing was like, we have to protect the big teams. Because what did they say? The longer a game goes on, the, the more it favours the big team. That big team just needs that one moment and boom. But if the game just keeps dragging on, it's going to favour the stronger team who even have maybe stronger penalty takers and maybe a, a better keeper. So this was done because at this instance, it gave those smaller teams a pointless chance. So those big teams were susceptible to just having one bozo moment, away goal, we're now out. Like, you take away away goals, City probably beats Tottenham. Because Tottenham beat them on away goals. No, no away goals, City win that game, 100%. City win that game against Tottenham. Yeah, I will, I will look. Um... This season, we've only seen there's only a select few teams that can win against City, and obviously Chelsea is one of them, four uh, four and two two. So shout, shout them. But um, look, there was nothing wrong with the away goal. Um, taking it away, I agree with Zeman. The excitement is still there, but it's not the same. Um, but bro, I, I'm all for the. Personally, I agree with Danny in the. In the thing, I, I think golden golden goal should be implemented. Amazing, it's, it's so good. Amazing. Uh, no, but but see, the thing is that people are too cowardly. That's the thing. People are so cowardly. Oh gosh, let's. I mean, what if a big team goes up? But like, why is it? Because 
again, this is what I would say. Remember when we we were supposed to play like um, with with our friends, yeah. and like it's 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 getting dark. All right, guys, next school wins, yeah, and then yeah. suddenly it's like super exciting. It's Bro, basically, it, like, it's, basically, it's such a footballing thing of next goal wins, golden goal, where anybody can be a hero now. Hundred percent, and the amount of like moments you can create from that, and it will also help the players because it means less minutes potentially, but I'm, I'm sure it will cut down so much more time uh, mm. that these players have to play, especially in knockout football. Because you think among these games that drag on and on and on and on, and then next thing you know, you played 120 minutes. And then some with the new new um, additional minute rules and shit. So potentially you played you played now two hours of football. Um, so and then penalties penalties should be something sacred. Like pe- penalty, we see penalty shootouts so much now. Like it should be something very like like like, like this is like really the last resort. Yeah, the last last resort. Like you know. No, no, because because because, sorry, because I'm not thinking that. Penalties, it's not football. Like, football is football. We are playing a football match 11 it, it, against 11. It has, pens, pens has. Pens has come a long way um, in that you see play, you see teams literally study that shit now. Like, goalkeepers, how players place the penalties, their last 10, 20 penalties, where yeah. they've placed their blah, blah, blah. Whereas uh, in, in, in your age, you just put the ball down and then hope for the best. <laughs> So it's, it's it's like it's like it's like flipping a coin basically. But um, what age is that? Uh, Casey Mitchell. Mate. I mean, it could be Jurassic post post Christ or after. I don't know. Um, Pre Christ even. Uh, but look, golden goal. I think is great. I like the idea of it when it goes to penalties. The rat, <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. That that is just that's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Nah. <laughs> That's Let's watch the rest of this vid. Think about becoming a Football Hot member. If you're a desktop merchant, just click on the join button below over here. Or if you're a mobile phone merchant, just click on the join button below the video over here and join the true elite content crack addicts. Peace.